Strikers Inc. gave another update and behind the scenes look to their upcoming game UFL in their recent episode of UFL Journey. This episode was titled Core Gameplay Part 1 and features chats with some of the game developers and how they are helping to build this new football game. Welcome to gaming and welcome to another UFL video. So my thoughts on this UFL journey episode are actually a little bit negative. It came across a little bit like a lowering of expectations the way that the developers were speaking during this episode. There was a lot of discussion during this about how we can't have the perfect mechanics for a football game and that people think because of the technological improvements in gaming that we should be able to have the perfect representation of a football game. Now, while I understand what they're trying to say here, this does come off a little bit like them saying, look guys, lower your expectations. We can't make this as good as you want. And I don't know if this is coming off the back of some criticism that's been seen in social media or online due to some of the recent updates that they've shared. I know I had criticisms of their last gameplay look but I also had some positives as well. The guys discussed the fact that we have casual players in the gaming space that will pick up the game and maybe play a game of football once a week, whereas there is also the hardcore players that will play and play and play. But this is pretty much true of most games. Yes, you do see more casual gamers flock to games like FIFA and Call of Duty, but all games have this problem that they have to balance whether or not to make it appeal to the hardcore or to the general public. And let me tell you, most gaming companies and developers will want to appeal to the general public because that's where they can make more money. Now, of course, UFL is going to be free to play, but there's going to have to be some way that they can make money for the game. A little later on, one of the developers does state that their mechanics are not perfect. Again, another lowering of expectations, in my opinion, trying to tell us as an audience that they aren't going to be making a game that is going to be world shattering, that is going to take on the established FIFA and eFootball. But that's just my opinion. That's my takeaway from this journey UFL episode that I saw. I want to know what you guys think of the content. Maybe it was like a language translation thing, because most of the team at Strikers Inc. are not English speakers, so the footage is translated for the general audience. Maybe something was lost in translation there, and it came across a little bit like excuse video rather than what they were aiming for. But as I say, let me know what you think in the comments below. I do think it's fun that Strikers Inc. is putting out these behind the scenes episodes to keep us up to date with the game. I do really enjoy being able to see more of the game leading up to launch. And I do think they should continue to do this. We are waiting on an animations update from the alpha gameplay footage that we saw a few weeks back. Apparently that is on the way uh, when the animations update is applied. I think uh, it's going to be interesting to see because as I've mentioned a few times in my UFL videos, I do think the gameplay looks really snappy. Hopefully the animations upgrade will make it seem a lot smoother. Of course there is a part two to come of this core gameplay UFL journey so keep an eye out for that and I'll be here to talk about it right here on Welcome to Gaming so if you want to see my thoughts and hear my thoughts on that then do make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.